Hey guys, welcome back to Just Carve Rob. And what are we doing? We are finishing up with this Cottonwood Bark Wood Spirit. If you remember in part one, we left off with the eyebrows. All right, so we have the Dremel 4000 with the flex shaft and the cuts all extreme burr going here today. And we are at the point where we're finishing up, we're cutting in the hair. Getting the hair design going. Getting the hair flow. You know how that is? Yep, we got to get his hair do all done up for you fine people. Alright. So this whole part will be done with a Dremel 4000. And we are using the Cutsaw Extreme Burr. Then we will be switching over to the Inverted Cone Burr for metal cutting. To do all the fine hairs. Right now we're, we've got the uh, flex shaft. And we are cutting in uh, big thick hairs. Going across the forehead and the side. How you like that old timey ducktail hairdo we got going there Larry Dibbs. You like that hairstyle there Larry? I see Larry received his Bigfoot in the mail. And it looks like he is loving his Bigfoot. Which is awesome. I hope that he enjoys it. Happy birthday, Larry. Back to the hair job. And you can see we're getting that hair all done. Okay. This is the part where we're changing over to the inverted cone. Metalworking burr. And uh, it gives us a good sharp edge to get in there and put in the finer hair details. I also like using a rotary burr. Um, it looks like a saw blade, but it's actually called... A knife blade. It's a round, it's a circular burr, but it's called a knife blade. And it does very, very fine cuts for hair. Alright. So you can see we're getting in there and we're working that hairdo in. We'll get this part all done. Then we will do the beard hairs and the mustachio. Say hi over there to Ben, studio on the lake. Hope you're recovering from your fire, Ben. Um, yeah, it was a terrible thing. But every, all your family and everybody was safe. And uh, your great big group puppy dog was safe. So all is good there. We can always replace tools, right, right Ben? Stuff can all, always be replaced, but people and pets cannot. Sweep up that, uh, some of that, uh, dust from that cottonwood bark. Oh, I can see you. Okay, so now we're cutting in his hairs for his beard. Tried to get a little bit of a zoom in there for you guys so you can see what's going on. And, uh, yeah, I don't know what happened there. There we go. Okay, so you can see we're... You can control, you can make light and heavy hairs just with this burr, guys, by the amount of pressure that you put on your burr. And by uh, flipping the part, the piece that you're carving, like that there, and the way I, the, the way I hold my hand piece, it uh, makes the angles of the hair go a different way. Okay, so that's, that's mainly why you see me flipping them around like that. Because the I don't hold it so it's 90 degrees on the edge. So I, I flip back and forth and it cuts hairs uh, at different angles. That's the best way to put it. Cuts the hairs at different angles. And of course, the more you do, the more hairs you put in. I think, in my opinion, it looks better. Okay. So, you know what I think I'm going to do with this guy? friends i think he is going to be my 2000 subscriber giveaway what do you think about that guys 2000 subscriber giveaway right here okay that's what i'm thinking tell me if you'd like him I'd like to see him as a 2000 subscriber giveaway all right Shop inspector's over there chewing on herself like she's a pork chop. I don't know what's, what her deal is. What are you doing over there, shop inspector? Shop inspector. 
just looking at me. Laying in the recliner, the old lazy German shepherd girl, just laying there looking at me. She she thinks she's camouflaged in because the recliners are camouflaged. They're made, they got a real tree camouflage on them. So she thinks I can't see her. But I can see those beady eyeballs over there, Shop Inspector. Alright, so you can see we're still working that mustache in. Cut up underneath the mustache. Make the hairs look like they go all the way through. I really like this guy. I think he's one of the best wood spirits I've made. Uh, to date. And we got to thank uh, Jordy Johnson. And uh, Kevin. Over at Sticks and Stones. Jordy Johnson at Carving Fusion. For teaching us all that we know. About doing these wood spirit guys. It's been a lot of fun carving this guy. That cottonwood bark is like butter. It's like butter, people. Butter. Cuts so nice. Um, upside cuts real nice. Downside is very shaly. Very shaly. So if you get cottonwood bark, make sure you, like Jordy does there, take that screwdriver and poke it. Make sure that if any of the shaly pieces are loose, they pop off. Uh, that's what I had to do here. This guy was actually, the wood, the cottonwood bark itself was probably about three inches, maybe three and a half inches thick. And uh, by the time I got done popping off loose bark, I got her down uh, probably to two, two and three quarter inches, something like that. Um, so yeah, you know, I have often thought about what if you took this cottonwood bark and all those places you've seen that shaley stuff, just water down some... Uh, white glue or gorilla glue or whatever and uh put it paint it on there try to get it down in those cracks i don't know how good it would work i've, I've thought about doing that kind of like uh stabilizing the wood maybe i don't know uh might make a real pain in the butt the car running into all that glue but uh with the burrs i'm using as coarse and whatnot as they are uh they may not affect it too awful bad but then again, they might plug those burrs up too. I don't know. I guess I'd have to try it to find out. And you can see I'm signing it. I'm a signing fool here. I put the RV. I'm going to put the Just Carve Rob on the back of it. I put the date on it. And we're using the SCM High Speed Air Tool. And we're picking some fuzz. Picking some wood boogers off there. And there it is. Just... Carve Rob. This here little piece of wood spirit with my name on it. If you got that and 10 bucks, you could probably get a cup of coffee at Starbucks. But don't forget the 10 bucks because I doubt they'll trade you a coffee for, you know, their, their $8 coffee for this little wood spirit guy. And uh, you can see on the back there is another piece of artwork uh, that Jordy Johnson drew on there. A wood spirit pattern that Jordy drew on the back for me. Just to remind me what wood spirits are supposed to look like. Alright. Thank you, Jordy. Jordy, Jordy, he's the man. If he can't do it, no one can. Yep, yep. Alright, alright. Jordy Johnson. Hey, Spike. How you doing? John and Spike and all you great guys out there that keep leaving me comments and likes. And uh, remember, if you guys want to save yourself 5% on Cuts All Burrs or Disc, use the code CARVEROB in all capital letters. CARVEROB. And I will leave a link to the Cuts All page down in the descriptions. And if you guys would like to buy me a cup of coffee, I'll also leave that to the PayPal account. All right, so that's it for this one, guys. That's what he looks like all finished up. And we will catch you on the next one. Hey, if you want to win this uh, guy on this one on this video, put, hey, I want that wood spirit. That's all you got to do. Hey, I want that wood spirit. And you have to be a subscriber to the Just Card Rob channel. All right. All right. Thanks, guys. I appreciate you. Carve something awesome. Be awesome. And we'll catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.